The Princess and the Plumber by Royce Wrighton. Is this Hillview Cottage? That's right. You wanted a plumber, miss? Oh, yes, yes. You've been very quick. I, I called in at the shop only yesterday. <laughs> ah, well, I was doing a job in this part of the world, so I thought whilst I'm here, I'd better sort you too. That's very good of you. Uh, oh, we'd uh, better go through to the kitchen. Ah, right. The pipe in the sink seems to be blocked. Um, this way. Ah, it's blocked all right. Uh, have you a bucket, miss? Oh, dear, I have somewhere. I'm afraid I'm disorganised. I've only just moved in. No, actually, that's not really true. I'm always disorganised. I've been here six months, really. I'll have to unscrew the pipe and let all the water out. I expect it's tea leaves. Ah, uh, it could be. It looks more like fat. In my London flat, it was always tea leaves. Uh, now, you said you had a bucket, miss. Uh, yes. Ah, well, well, where is it? I, I don't know. Where do you keep it, miss? Well, it hasn't got a home. I can't bear to think of the homeless. Will it be in the cupboard, maybe? It could be. Ah, well, shall we look? Oh, yes, that's an awfully good idea. Oh. No, it isn't there. Um, now, where else could it be? Uh, have you a cupboard under the stairs? Yes. How ah, well, could it be there? What? <laughs> Your bucket, miss. Oh, yeah, it could be. You never can tell. I always find things in the most astonishing places. We'll go through and look. But it's not here. Oh, what a shame. I know. It'll be in the sun parlour. Let's look there. <laughs> That's like playing Hunt the Thumble. Yes, isn't it? We go this way, through the drawing room. Ah, it's a nice cottage, I have. I took it furnished. Is it not too lonely for you, miss? Oh, no. Mrs. Anderson is within call and the Browns are opposite. They've all been so nice to oh, me. Oh, good. They drive me into my leg at least once a week for me to shop. I have to lay in a good supply of food as the village shop is rather limited and I never know when some of my friends are going to drop in. Do you know the Browns? No, miss, I didn't. Anyway, they haven't been here all that long. Oh. It isn't here. Well, where do you think... I know. There's a shed at the bottom of the garden. It could be there. Let's go and look. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Oh, my lawn needs mowing. Don't you love that view? That's why I took the cottage, because of the view. I love hills, don't you? Aye, uh, very much. There it is. I've won. Uh, won what? I found it. Oh, I want to get a prize. <laughs> when I went to children's parties and there were games and prizes, I never won anything. What can I give myself? I know. I'll treat myself to something. Aye. Uh, well, I'd better get on sorting that pipe. Oh. Well, do you have to? Well, that's why I'm here, miss. I was enjoying talking. Would you like some coffee? Well, I hope it's not too much trouble. Oh, it'll be no trouble at all. That will be my treat, having coffee with you. While you unblock the pipe, I'll make the coffee, and then I can continue talking to you. That lawn really should be mown soon. Otherwise, it'll need scything. Yes, it will. Uh, have you a mower? Well, somewhere back in the shed, I think. It's too heavy for me. Ah, well, I'll mow it for you. Will you? <laughs> Will you really? <laughs> Certainly. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. When? Well, is uh, Saturday all right for you? Oh, it would be lovely. White or black? Uh, white, please. And sugar? Ah, uh, please. Oh, just like me. Oh. Now, where did I put the cake? Oh, it's in the dining room. I was too lazy to clear up after my party. I thought we were going to have another game of Hunt the Thimble, but it's all right. Here it is. I haven't told you about my party, have I? Uh, no. Yesterday. It was my birthday yesterday. I'm 41. Oh. How old are you? Uh, 45. Oh, older than me. Aye. Men should always be older than women. Ah, there. Oh, you've done it. Yes. Will it work now? Ah, sure it will. That means you're going. What about that coffee you promised me? Oh, it's ready. We'll go through to the drawing room. If you carry the coffee tray, 
I'll carry the cake. All right, there we are. Put it on that table. Now, I'll cut you a slice of cake. Help yourself to milk and sugar. Oh, thank you. I wish you could have been here yesterday. It was such fun, so interesting. Huh? All my friends were here. Well, only three, really. But all of them were my best friends. The Grand Duke Dimitri, he wants to marry me, you know, but I won't. Oh. He's been begging me to marry him for as long as I can remember. What's the point of being a Grand Duchess nowadays, a Russian one at that? I mean, that's all very well, but what I say is titles mean nothing nowadays. That's why I've given up calling myself Princess Filamenskaya and just call myself Miss Filamenskaya. Oh. Don't you think it much more sensible? Oh, I much. I had to wait until Daddy died, of course. Daddy was very old school. He was Polish ambassador here before the war. You uh, speak English very well. Well, I am English now. Or rather, British. I was born in London, but my mother's family was Scots. Uh, who else came to the party? Cardinal Browning. What's your name? Angus MacDonald. Angus MacDonald. Hmm. It's a nice name. Oh, well. Dependable. You're not eating the cake. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what time will you come on Saturday? Eh, uh, well, well, early afternoon, should you? I shall look forward to it. So shall I. Will you? Will you really? Oh, thank you. It will be fun. Oh, Mr. MacDonald, you're doing it beautifully. There must be hot work. Aye, it is. We'll have tea later. But would you like some lemonade now? I've got it here. Oh, well, I'd not say no. I want to ask your advice. Uh, I've had a letter from Dimitri. It's very difficult. Oh, what is? Here's your lemonade. Oh, thank you. You see, he's been married before. Well? Well, of course he's divorced long ago, but his ex-wife is still alive. Anyway, I've said I will marry him, provided Cardinal Browning approves. Aye. I'm Catholic, you see, and the Cardinal was Daddy's oldest friend. They were at Downside together. Are you Catholic? <laughs> I was. Daddy uh. was very devout. That's why I gave the party. I wanted the Cardinal to meet Dimitri, and then he'd see how nice he was and see that I should marry him and give his consent and perhaps marry us himself in a cathedral somewhere. Yeah? Well, the Cardinal's not an archbishop. He's attached to the Vatican. It wasn't really a birthday party. I, I mean, it was my birthday, and I did give a party, and, of course, I had a cake, but that was the excuse. The reason was for Dimitri and the Cardinal to meet. Uh, did it work out all right? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm always caught like this, between two fires. <laughs> well, why listen to the gardener? Well, he's Daddy's oldest friend. I always do as he says. He never allows me to marry. But never? What do you mean it's happened before? Oh, yes, hundreds of times. Well, dozens. When did your father die, miss? When I was 18. The cardinal's been a sort of guardian to me. Dimitri says the cardinal's in love with me, but he can't be. He's a priest. <laughs> He's very attractive, of course, in a spiritual sort of way, like all priests. I expect it's the Holy Ghost in them. Aye, anything's possible. And there was Tom. Did I ever tell you about Tom? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Tom was from Manchester. He was a chartered accountant. I met him when I had a job as a typist. Uh, you work as a typist? Yes. You see, I get depressed on my own. But I've got to live in the country as I get claustrophobia in towns, and I can't travel to work as I can't drive, and buses are few and far between. So I thought in the end I'd better marry Dimitri. Only the Cardinal won't allow it. Well, why do you do as he says? Well, I've told you. He's Daddy. Yes, yes, I know. He's Daddy's oldest friend, but, well, you can lead your own life, surely. I mean, why not get married first and tell the Cardinal afterwards? Oh, I'd never dare. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what I would do. Oh, it's different for you. You're a man. Dimitri wouldn't hear of it. Ah, oh, well. You think about it. There's raspberry, strawberry and greengage. Which would you like? Eh, uh, raspberry, miss. It's not homemade, I'm afraid, but it's very good. You might stop calling me miss. My name's Patricia. What do you think I should do, Mr. MacDonald? Uh, <laughs> Angus. <laughs> what do you think I should do, Angus? Well, about what? About Dimitri. Oh, well, marry him. In a registrar's office. Aye. He wants a church wedding. And the cardinal won't allow it. No. Look, Patricia. Milk and sugar. Uh, uh, please. I like lots of sugar. Look, why don't you just go ahead with oh, your plan? Dear, I've forgotten the sugar. I'll forget my head next. Go on talking. I can hear you. Well, if I was Dimitri and I wanted to marry you... Where did I put that sugar? Well, I'd up and do it, no matter what the church oh, said. Here it is. What was that? 
If I wanted to marry you, I'd up and do it. Never mind what the church says. Oh! Yeah, two lumps, please. I think I'd like to know more about you. All I know so far is, is that you're a plumber. Oh. <laughs> well, there's not much else to know. I was born here. I was in the Navy for a while, and... Well, then I worked in England, and an uncle offered me a partnership in this little firm he has. So I came back. Oh, what about a scone? Oh, no, no, I'm doing fine. They're homemade. I... I have a little money, you see. We'd never have to worry financially. <laughs> ah, some people have all the luck. I don't have to work. I take typing jobs every now and again. That's for my health. Oh? Of course, when I'm married, I shall stay at home, looking after the house and children. I won't need to work then, will I? I won't be so lonely. No, no. Oh, this jam is lovely with the scones. Put some jam on yours, Angus. Yes, yeah, thanks. You see, we shouldn't bother with a church wedding. Well, I wouldn't if I were you. I must have a reception. I've always wanted a reception. Well, you can have one later on. I mean, the important thing is to get married. I wouldn't tell the cardinal until afterwards, and then he couldn't do a thing about it. Now, if you tell him or issue invitations to a reception first... <laughs> Well, he'd know and he might try and stop you. Oh, Angus, you think of everything. <laughs> At the reception, we'll have to have a cake. A large cake with plenty for everyone. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted someone to think of things for me. That's what husbands are for. Oh. <laughs> the money's all in trust, so I only have the income. It goes to my husband and children when I die. My mother was very devout, as she thought she was. If I don't marry and have children, it all goes to the church. Oh, well, that's maybe why the cardinal stops you from marrying. Oh! Oh, Angus! Oh, how shocking! I, oh. I never thought of that. Well, I mean, I don't take me too seriously. Oh, the Cardinal no. couldn't. He's got such a saintly face. I mean, you've only got to look at it. You can see he's got the Holy Ghost right there inside him. Uh, I'll show you his photograph. Where oh, are uh, look here. Steady on, woman. I was oh, only joking. Why can I never find anything? Somebody's hidden it. He married my parents. Daddy would never have been married by a priest who wasn't quite perfect. Oh, here it is. There. Look at it. Oh, aye, he's got a very nice face. You see, he couldn't have deceived me. Well, you could almost see the halo. But then there was John. John was a Catholic, wasn't he? And absolutely suitable in every way. A very old family, distinguished even. The Cardinal said he hadn't any money. Well, what's money got to do with it? I don't care. I think you're quite right, and the Cardinal's unscrupulous. Look at his mouth. It's a mean mouth. I've never oh. noticed it before. Oh, what a... Beast he is. Oh, here, come on. Uh, show me some more photographs, eh? Oh, yes. Yes, that would be fun. Aye. Come and sit here. All right. Come on. There we are. Well, there's Daddy going to Buckingham Palace to present his credentials. Ah, so he is. You go in a carriage like the Lord Mayor. And there's Mummy and me going to a presentation party. Mummy died a year or two later. And that's our old home in Poland. God, it's enormous. It was bigger than Versailles. Oh, and here's my parents' wedding. Dimitri was best man. Oh, he's much older than you. He was older than Daddy. I adored him. Dimitri was my first love. When he died in the war from TB, I was heartbroken. When I he... cried for weeks. You were heartbroken when Dimitri died? Absolutely. Of course, I was only a little girl then. Oh, I, oh, I see. Have some more tea. I, I thought I remember you how said... you like it with two lumps. No, I've had enough, really. I, uh, listen, I'd better finish the lawn. No, finish it tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I'll finish it tomorrow. I, oh, I really must go. Oh, must you? Now, listen, after all, you've got uh, a lot to think about and plan, oh, eh? Oh, yes, I have. Well, listen, I'll just go and get my jacket. Eh? I, I'll finish the lawn tomorrow. And then stay on to dinner so that we can celebrate. Oh, well. Cheerio, Patricia. And thank you for the tea. Until tomorrow. Yes. Until tomorrow. Everything's ready. There. Now, let me see. There's ice for the cocktail. Aunt Ina's always very fussy about that. Oh, <laughs> men are such babies. Fancy going home to change. He'll look after me properly. I know he will. Of course, as Mummy would have put it, he's not a peer of the realm, dear, or even the best butter. But he's definitely one of nature's gentlemen. So there. I never cared very much for Mummy. Our grandfather started life as a docker, so who's she to talk? Oh, I know he ended up as a multimillionaire and a viscount, but so what? So might Angus. I shall be quite firm with the cardinal. 
I shall say to him, Father, times have changed. Oh, dear. Angus is taking a long time. Was that a car? It could be the Browns. No? No, it's him. There he is. Oh, he's here. He's really here. I was getting fussed, but it's all right. Oh. Oh, how sweet he looks in his kilt and his velvet coat. He's put them on for me. For me, Angus, darling. Oh, you look so nice. Oh, sit down. No, 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 no. I'll pour out the drinks. I'm having gin and bitter lemon, and there's the ice in that little bucket. Help yourself to some. Oh, darling, I'm so happy. All my dreams are coming true. Here's to us. I can only just remember Poland. My father being an ambassador was often abroad. Yes, he was a prince, not a royal one. A common or garden one, like a non-royal duke over here. He visited Poland once or twice a year. Fortunately, we weren't there when the war was declared. And then just after the war, Daddy died. Mummy died some years later. And as I was born in this country, I was able to claim a British passport, so I'm British. I've been engaged before to a Frenchman. Yes. We were planning to announce it in the Times, and, and then he suddenly married my mother and became my stepfather. Mummy said I'd imagined he wanted to marry me, but I couldn't have. I mean, we'd planned the cake. You don't get as far as planning a wedding cake unless it's true. I can remember screaming and not being able to stop and... and then I... I, I... I can't remember anymore. They said I'd attacked my mother, hit her and put me in a home. I was mad for a while. Quite mad. I was in and out of asylums for some years, I believe. And then Mummy died and I got quite well. There's not a thing wrong with me now. We'll have holidays by the sea, won't we? I've always wanted to give my children holidays by the sea and every birthday they'll have a cake. We'll never forget, will we? Mummy once forgot, or so she said. But she did it on purpose, I could see it in her face. I was only four, but I could see. She'd promised me a cake. She said she'd forgot, liar. Yes. Yes, yes, I have this fatal ability to attract men. They always want to marry me. All of them. The cardinal adored me. He was going to renounce his vows for me, and then Mummy told him I was violent, and he didn't. He won't marry me himself and prevents me from marrying anybody else. You think it's all to do with money. Well, that's where you're wrong. It's sex. Oh, I could tell you a thing or two about priests. They're all sex-mad. You could tell at a glance, I spurn them all. With me, it's marriage or nothing. We'll have lots of babies. Pretty little babies, won't we? Now, now for the trifle. I love cream, don't you? Oh, no! Oh, you mustn't kiss me like that. Whatever would the cardinal say? I'll be yours soon, all yours. No, 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 Angus, let me go. Perhaps you should leave. We can be married tomorrow, by special license. Daddy wouldn't approve of our doing anything before we were married. He was very proper. Oh. Kiss me once more, and then go. Go, go. I love you. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, how I love him. But I thought of Daddy, and I didn't. I must telephone Aunt Ina. Hello? Hello, Aunt Ina? I'm sorry it's so late, but I had to call you. I'm engaged. We're getting married tomorrow by special license. The engagement will be in the Times tomorrow, but we can't wait any longer, so we're getting married then as well. He's swept me off my feet, and I've swept him off his. His name's Angus, and he's a plumber. He came to mend a broken pipe or something and stayed on to marry me. We'll have a cake. Goodbye. I must telephone Harriet. Oh, oh, she's in New York. Hello? Get me New York. Oh, well, then take a telegram. I'm engaged. We'll be married by the time you read this. His name's Angus and he's a plumber. We'll have our wedding cake after the honeymoon. I'm so happy, so happy, so happy. All my dreams have come true. I must write to everybody. You should be here soon. I've done everything. I've locked the back door. Electricity is all off. Posted all my letters. Uh, hello, anyone home? Oh, darling. 
It's me, Angus MacDonald. You've come. Yes, I, I, I tried to ring you yesterday, but, well, you're not on the telephone. What? Well, I, I said I was sorry about yesterday. I was called away rather urgently. So I'll, I'll finish the lawn for you later in the week. If... Away? Called away? I'm quite ready. Well, going away for a long time. I'm going away forever and ever, and then I shall live happily ever afterwards with you. With me? I told Ardina. I told Barbara. She's one of my sisters. She doesn't like me much, but I don't care now. Harriet's in New York, but I've sent her a cable. Listen, what are you saying? Our engagement. Our marriage. Today. Oh, no. Well, there's, there's nothing wrong, is there? You've got the special license. Now, listen to me, Patricia. Yes? We're not getting married. But, but it, you, well, you must have misunderstood or, or imagined. I misunderstood nothing. You said you wanted to marry me, never mind what the church said. Look, I said if I was Dimitri and I wanted to marry you, I'd never mind what the church said. If, if... There was no if. I didn't hear any ifs. What's Dimitri got to do with it? He's dead. I know he is. Look, you, you talked of letters from him. You spoke as if he were alive. Oh, I know what it is. You're jealous of him. Oh, no. Oh, darling, you've no need to be. You proposed and I accepted you. Is the taxi here? Are we going in your car? We're not going anywhere. We're engaged. Engaged. You proposed in the drawing room over tea. I remember every detail. I accepted you. I've written letters and posted them. I've told all my friends. Look, you're not well. I'm perfectly well. I have a certificate to say so. I know I have. Where is it? Where is it? Look, uh, Patricia. It's not there. Now, don't it's get so upset. Yes. Look, no. Patricia, no. we can sort this no. out. No, it's in the suitcase. Look, we, we... Oh, please, we can... I can't open it. I can't open it. No, no, please. Oh. I'm getting confused. No, you must marry me. I told the Browns. I, I rang up Aldina last night. Look, you rang up nobody. You can't have done. There is no telephone here. There is. I know there is. Well, show me. Well, show me. Show me. It's in the drawing room. No. No. How silly of me. It's in the dining room. It's been... It's been taken out. It was never there. It's in the kitchen. You're hiding it from me. Oh, this is all a game, isn't it? How's the symbol? We, we played that when you first came to tea. Have you put it in the shade? It doesn't exist. I know where it is. It's by my bed. No, you're not coming into my bedroom. We're not married yet. You want to seduce me. You're like all men. You want oh, to now look, you. You're please. You're like my father. If you come a step near, I shall scream. Oh, the Browns are out, and so is Mrs. Anderson. You know they're out. No, keep away from me. Help! Help! Look, I won't touch her. Now, look. You see, now, I'll, I'll stand over here. Now, nothing will harm you. Now, come on. Come on, that's right. There, you see, I'll sit over here. There, you see, now that's fine. Now, I, I don't want to make love to you, and I couldn't marry you even if I wanted to. I'm married already. I have four children. You're like all men after all. Cunning. You proposed, and all the time you were married. I, I did not propose. You came to dinner. I gave you dinner last night. You tried to persuade me to go to bed with you. I was with my wife last night. You were with me. We had party and ball oh. and trifle with whipped cream on the top, and it was all lovely. Please. And I, I told you how I stood up to Cardinal Browning, and you were proud of me. I looked up Cardinal Browning in the library. He died two years ago. Yeah. Uh, oh. 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 I talked to him every day. He can't have died. It's a trick. Look, you see. No, you had dinner here last night. It's still laid out. Oh. <gasps> That's what it is you're cross with me. You think I'm slovenly. I'm not really. I'm not. I have an arrangement with Mrs. Anderson. I've written her a note. No, I'll clear it away myself. I'll, I'll clear it away now. If I, if I clear it away now, will you marry look, me? Look, listen, I'm not cross. Now look, look at the table, you see. Now two places have been laid. But you see, only one has been used. Now look. There, you see, there's only one dirty plate. Only one's been used. Only one's been used. 
Only one's been used, only one's been used. I'm all alone, only one's been used. I won't have my cake. Oh. Ah! Stay there. Stay there, I'll get help. That was Pauline Letts and Henry Stamper in The Princess and the Plumber by Royce Wrighton. Production was by Jerry Jones. <laughs>